Hey guys, HDV here and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are going to be doing a full breakdown of all of the brand new information for the Pokemon Crown Tundra DLC that we did get yesterday. Everything that you may have missed will be in today's video. So if you are excited for it, please do drop a like down below. It really does help out. Let's try and hit 750 likes. Make sure to leave a comment. What were you most excited about? from the trailer yesterday and subscribe if you're brand new we do daily pokemon content on this channel gonna be doing a bunch of crown tundra stuff when it does drop as well on the 23rd of october so with all of that out of the way let's get into the video and i really hope that you enjoy so starting things off what we're going to do first is go over the trailer because there's some things in here that you may have missed out on and then not only that we're also going to be going over the pokemon website because for some reason, there's a bunch of information on the website that wasn't shown in the trailer, such as like Galarian Slowking's typing, its ability, its exclusive move. Uh, there's also some stuff about the legendaries, like not even mentioned in the trailer. No idea why. But like I say, we're going to be going over the trailer first. So I'm obviously going to be skipping the Isle of Armor stuff. <laughs> guess about that anymore anyway crown tundra so obviously this is the station that you i'm guessing you start at that you come out of or it might actually just be one of the um uh like kind of like the, the the temple things that all the reggies are in and stuff either way it looks like quite a prominent building uh so we have that and then we have the galarian birds fighting so articuno isn't in the scene but we do have zapdos going for moltres so that's giving me the vibes of the second movie pokemon 2000 where all the glare all the legendary birds are fighting then lugia has to come and calm them all down so i don't know if lugia is going to be like quite an important part of this i think it's going to be calyrex this time that may have to calm them down um but yeah as we can see the birds are fighting there so that's a, that's an interesting little scene and then we have here with peony and the protagonist uh, they seem to be watching something that might be calyrex it might be one of the legendary horses it could be the birds who knows but they're having a little spy and then we have some footprints as well though this looks like calyrex's footprints maybe they're quite small um so i think it uh, could be in regards to uh, regards to calyrex there and then we have the galarian sloking the first look of galarian sloking uh which i really like a lot of people think it's ugly but i actually really really like it i like it a lot more than galarian slow bro uh, but i don't even know what move it's using here it might be its exclusive move um it might be i don't know like i don't think it's dark pools or anything like that and then we have magmortis so right now we just have a bunch of uh returning pokemon and, and them showing that we have some spiel here so obviously uh that is the whole spiel line is obviously in the uh, in the crown Central. we knew about that anyway because of the data mine uh, we got carving there we have um snom's evolution uh it's gone i cannot remember off the top of my head uh, they're just floating about just chilling having a good time and then we have some more shots we have ava look there they look like mario kind of platforms that you jump on but that's ava look there we have the nido king there which obviously confirms the nido king line is back um and then i think it goes on to uh yeah so this is the start bit so we have swablu there so obviously swablu lines back i think this is this just looks like a random house um i don't know if this will be peony's house or something, or something like that it's too small to be like the train station um and then we obviously have dragonite here confirming that that's back and this is obviously like this just shows how big it is because obviously you can see that you can run around all of here because there's raid things here so um the crown tundra is massive <laughs> it's absolutely huge uh, and then we have Galarian Articuno as well floating there. Now, a lot of people think that this means that they're going to be roaming legendaries. I don't think it's going to be like that. I think this is just quite close to the start of the Crown Tundra story. And you're just kind of seeing a glimpse of the legendary bird just flying over you. A lot of people are saying that you have to whistle it and stuff to come over to you. But I think that is just kind of like a scripted thing where it flies off into the into the you know that direction then we have calyrex here just vibing with that big head of his he's just he's just chilling there so um that's kind of the, the big start of it um and then we obviously get into the raids and stuff like that there's not really anything to talk about in the raids it just shows a bunch of legendary pokemon the all-star tournament and stuff as well there's not anything huge there apart from like must have been back like i say all the description stuff about this is on the website that we're going to be going over um but then we have um some more shots of the galarian birds as well that is coming up we have some more legendary stuff eternity is back literally every single legendary pokemon that's ever existed is going to be in the crown center which is really really cool uh then we have the galarian articuno there we have galarian zapdos uh we have galarian moltres as well i really really like galarian moltres again now i thought zapdos was my favorite but galarian moltres right there mm, i don't know which one i like more and then we have yuxi there in a raid battle as well uh, so that's really cool. Then we have this as well. Uh, now these look like they're going to be like the Re the Reggie temples. Um, that's definitely 
well, I mean, it's true anyway. It's got like the Reggie eyes on it and stuff like that. So don't know how the original three Reggies are going to link into the story, but I'm sure they will at some some point. We have Reggie Alecki there. We have Reggie Drago. Now this is very interesting as well because uh, right here we obviously have a Getsis, uh, well the eyepiece anyway that you can obviously dress up. I love the fact that Hydreigon's following her as well because obviously that's Getsis Ace Pokemon. Um, but it seems to be that we get evil team customization options, which is interesting because I remember going over a rumor which stated that we do get uh, I, I'm pretty sure the rumor said we get Getz's eyepiece and we also get Team Flair's uh, glasses. Um, so I, I'm going to try and find that rumor again because that legit could be true now. Um, because we obviously have Team Flair here as well, their glasses. We obviously have um, Lysander's ace Pokemon, which is the Gyarados following as well. Basically confirms the following Pokemon's back as well, if that wasn't already obvious. Uh, but then we have like this uh, nice little suit and then yeah, we have that eyepiece as well. So evil character customization is back. Uh, we have Absol there, we have uh, the Generation 6 Fossils, we have an Altaria in the back, we have a Need Arena down there, just kind of confirming all these Pokemon back, but we all know they were back anyway because of, uh, well, the data mine. And then we have Zygarde's complete form there as as well, and then we have uh, Calyrex here, um, just doing some sort of like electric feel thing. And then obviously you touch the tree, and then that obviously creates some sort of cutscene, so that's to do with the Galarian Birds, whatever, and then it says the Crown Tundra. So uh, there is a lot of stuff um, in, the, in, in the trailer that... that like it showed stuff about the crown tundra but it didn't really give us anything new we got like galarian sloking and stuff but we didn't get anything about like the ultra beast we didn't get anything about the the legendary horses we didn't get anything about that so uh yeah it's really interesting and again, this scene here is just where they're all uh, where they're all fighting again with the galarian zapdos uh galarian moltres and galarian articuno uh it says legendary pokemon from the past are back but they're all fighting so there's definitely some sort of situation going on right outside of the tree as well that they're all they're all fighting about but apart from that um there's there's not really anything else that's new about the trailer like i said it just goes into detail about a bunch of other things obviously there's a complete edition that you can get uh which is coming out on the 6th of november obviously the crown tundra is coming out on the 20 well it's coming out on the 23rd but it's coming out on the 22nd if you're in america but that's because of time zones myself included thought that america were getting it early before like europe and japan which made no sense because obviously it's a japanese game um but no what it is is it's just time zone so it's going to be really really early in europe for us i'm talking like four in the morning because we're five hours ahead of um, America. And obviously, if that's getting released on the 22nd, that's probably going to come out at like 11 p.m. So it's going to be really, really late for um, America. It's going to be really, really early for us. And then Japan is going to be like midday. Australia is going to be like midday. So they're fine. Um, but yeah, that's why it was a little bit of a confusion, like why America were getting it a day early. But they're not. It's just how time zones are going. And then obviously, there's like the Pikachus and stuff like that. And then uh, there's the, the whole Pokemon Go and Pokemon Home thing. Um, I'm going to be making a separate video about that because there's a lot of stuff to talk about that. A lot of um, confusion with like Pokecoins and everything. I'm going to be making a separate video about that. Should either come tomorrow or the day after. Um, so that's all the stuff about the trailer. Uh, next up, we're going to be going over stuff on the website that has a bunch more information about stuff that wasn't even revealed kicking things off with the ability patch so this was obviously data mind it's basically the item that allows you to change between the normal ability and the hidden ability but it says in the crown tundra you may get new items called ability patches they're hard to come by but worth the effort if you use one on a pokemon its ability will change to its species hidden ability if it has one with an ability patch and a helping of max suit from the isle of Armour, you can bring out the hidden ability on the first part of pokemon you chose at the beginning of pokemon sword of pokemon shield and give the capability to Gigant's Max as well. So I feel like uh, this ability patch is going to be just as rare as like the mushrooms that you need to obviously do Gigant's Maxing and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, this is just confirmation that there is a new hidden, abil uh, hidden ability item, which I, I don't know why it wasn't in the trailer because it's like a big piece of information, especially for competitive. So I'm very, very surprised that that wasn't revealed in the trailer, but it wasn't. Next up, we have Galarian Slowking. Obviously, we know nothing about Galarian Slowking from the trailer, but it's all on the website. So it is a poison psychic type Pokemon one it has the new ability called curious medicine um it also is 1.8 meters tall and it weighs 79.5 kg anyway um this is just kind of like um information about it. it doesn't really give anything like regarding what it's like in game uh this is the stuff that we know about oh so the move uh, uh, the, uh, the move that it was using earlier was the hidden ability move not hidden ability the the signature move called eerie spell so eerie spell is a psychic type special move in which the pokemon attacks with tremendous psychic power if hit 
The opponent doesn't only take damage, it also loses 3 PP from the move it last used. So it's kind of like pressure on steroids. Very, very broken move. Um, but the fact that it says if hit means that it's probably not 100% accuracy. It's a special type move though. Um, but like I say, it does damage and also lowers the opponent's last move by 3 PP. So you can stop them from like spamming certain moves or whatever. Especially if that move only has like 5 PP. So like your hydro pumps and stuff like that are not going to enjoy uh, an eerie spell in the slightest. Next up we have its hidden, hidden, well not hidden ability, but its new ability, which is called Curious Medicine. Very, very broken ability for VGC. So basically, it's a new ability introduced with this expansion. When a Pokemon with this ability enters the battlefield, allies stat changes are reset. So that is super, super useful. Um, if a Pokemon comes in and intimidates your team, you can bring in uh, Glaring Slow King. It'll cancel that out. Obviously, the thing you have to also think about is if you've set up a Swords Dance or a Curse or a Dragon Dance, it'll also reset that. It won't just reset the stat changes that have gone down. It'll also reset the stat changes that have gone up. So, obviously, think a little bit about that when you're using it. But on, on the plus side, it's, it's very much going to be useful uh, for stopping things like... Um, uh, like Intimidate or, or, or whatever. Um, and, and Sticky Webs as well. That's, that's obviously very, very useful. Anyway, next up, uh, we have this. New features. So this is to do with the Legendary Pokemon. So all this Ray stuff here. Um, so the Dynamax stuff is really interesting because you're not bringing your own Pokemon to these raids. No, you have to select Pokemon that are given to you. Uh, the rental Pokemon. So that's obviously going to make it a lot harder because you can't bring your Gigantamax Pokemon. You can't bring your perfect EV and IV Pokemon. It is rental. Pokemon and some of these Pokemon are mad as well, bro. There's a charger bug there, man, and that, that's gonna be going up with legendary and stuff like that. I cannot believe it. Um, uh, but yeah, it basically says new features added in the Crown Tundra Explored Pokemon Dens in the Dynamax Adventure. Instead of your regular Pokemon team, you and your fellow trainers will choose rental Pokemon to bring along into the depths of the den. If you encounter a wild Dynamax Pokemon during your exploration, you'll need to work together with your three teammates in a max raid battle. If you win the battle, you'll have a chance to catch the Pokemon, and one trainer on the team can swap the newly caught Pokemon in for the Pokemon they had before. But if you lose a battle, you'll be ejected from the den. Try swapping out your Pokemon as you explore so you'll be prepared to face whatever comes next as you seek the legendary Pokemon said to lurk in the depths. And if you want to delve even deeper into the den, Endless Dynamax Adventures may be the thing for you. Endless Dynamax Adventures lets you keep on going until you lose a battle. So that's going to be like for the, you know, the try-hard Pokemon fans. You know, I can't wait to try that. Uh, and it says, give them a try if you want to test your metal. So yeah, it basically says, uh, here's the rentals. And then this is how it actually looks. So you actually get the typing of what den you're about to fight. And you can choose that as a team. And then, like I say, if you beat the raid boss, you can then swap it out with one of the Pokemon in your team. So if someone is rocking up with a Charger Bug and you just beat, I don't know, like a Clefairy or something, you can swap that Charger Bug out for a Clefairy. Um, and then, obviously, at the very end, there is a Legendary. So the Legendary Pokemon. So uh, these are all the Legendary Pokemon that are back. Uh, the interesting thing about this is that, like, Urshifu's there um, and, and stuff. So a lot of people are thinking that, like, maybe Urshifu's going to be a raid boss. Zacian and Zamazenta are going to be a raid boss. Eternatus is going to be a raid boss. I don't know about Zacian and Zamazenta. Um, maybe. But the thing is, though, there's version exclusives. So I don't know if, if there are version exclusives. Well, if there are version exclusives, well, which they are. But if Zacian and Zamazenta are back, I don't know if like Zacian is going to be sword exclusive or shield exclusive. I'd probably say sword exclusive. But... We'll have to wait and see. It says, with the Crown Tundra, you'll be able to encounter every legendary Pokemon that's appeared in the main series of Pokemon games. Find legendary Pokemon during your travels in the Crown Tundra or while you're on Dynamax Adventures, and you'll have a chance to catch them. Some legendary Pokemon appear only in Pokemon Sword, while others appear only in Pokemon Shield. So again, we don't know what version exclusive Pokemon, uh, which ones are which, but... We'll have to wait and see. It's going to be interesting for like the third uh, legendary, like Rayquaza and Palkia, and uh, not Palkia, um, Giratina, um, uh, Suicune, um, Landorus, uh, Kyurem, Zygarde. We're not going to, not really sure about how they're going to do that. Uh, and then we basically have the Star Tournament, which isn't, they didn't really show anything new about it. It's just kind of stuff that we knew, like it's just two, two on two multi battles with like familiar faces and stuff like that um but uh yeah i think that's pretty much everything i can possibly go over for this like i said i'm gonna be making a separate video for the whole pokemon go and home thing because there's a lot of controversy about that with the whole like pokey coins thing uh, a little bit more information has been shed on that but i'm gonna be making my video on once we know everything about it so i don't spread any misinformation um but yeah that is pretty much gonna be everything for today's video i really hope you guys did enjoy it if you did 
make sure to drop a like down below let's try and hit 750 likes leave a comment what was the best thing about the trailer in your opinion i really like the reveal of galarian slow king um and that's kind of all we got regarding like new things it was just a hype trailer you know i'm kind of glad they didn't show everything um, so I'll be able to see like the horses for the first time when I actually play the Crown Tundra, uh, which I obviously will be doing when the Crown Tundra does come out on that Friday. I'll be doing a full playthrough stream and we'll probably be doing some shiny hunting after it as well. So make sure to subscribe for that. Um, turn on the notifications, all that good stuff. That is going to be everything from me though, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Uh, and until next time, peace.